हेलो गाइस टुडे वी विल रिव्यू दिस न्यू लेंस फ्रॉम आई वोल्टा इट इज ए मैक्रो लेंस रिटेन इट इज 20x मैक्रो लेंस बट इट इज नॉट ए 20x मैक्रो लेंस आई हैव ऑलरेडी टेस्टेड दिस लेंस सो लेट मी शो यू सम सिंपल शॉट्स एंड अदर टेस्टिंग विद दिस लेंस देन आई विल टेल यू हाउ इट इज नॉट 10x इट इज नॉट 20x मैक्रो लेंस इट इज जस्ट ए 10x मैक्रो लेंस सो As we have already seen in case of Skyvik lens also, we have got the Skyvik X lens that is also a written 20x, but it is not 20x. That is also a 10x. Like that, similarly, this is also written 20x, but it is not a 20x macro lens. So before starting this review, let me clear this. It is not a 20x macro lens. However, it is written 20x macro lens. Just a paper thing. Nothing is there. Some price is written thirteen nine nine. I have bought it uh, around nine nine nine, so thousand rupees. I have bought this lens from Amazon, and this is just a cardboard. And there is a beautiful lens bag, lens case is there, and rubber is filling. So inside this uh, rubber case, you will find the lens, lens clip. There is a lens back protection clip. This lens is protected with. Two caps, plastic caps. There is a hook to plug it something here and to carry. And there is a cleaning cloth. And let's check this lens. So as you can see, it is written I Volta, and it is also written 20x macro lens, which is not a 20x macro lens. And let's go out and check the quality of this lens. Now we will plug this lens and we will test this lens output. So after plugging this lens, the output looks like this. You will not get any flat background. So let's test the focus distance. The focusing is sharp. In video mode, the focus distance is around. Six seven centimeter. So from this distance, I can tell you this is not a 20x macro lens. It is a 10x macro lens. Like I have said, in case of your Skyvik 20x macro lens, that is also not a 20x macro lens. And I can tell you the same from the magnification. This is not a 20x macro lens. It is a 10x macro lens. And that's the output. The output is nice. We will check the bokeh effect of this lens. This lens can produce, as you can see, very beautiful bokeh effect. And the focus distance is very nice. The distance is around 5-6 cm. And also you can go close I think yes you can go close up to 3 cm we'll go to photo mode and we'll see the focus distance now I am in expert mode and let me go to the highest focus distance and focus this lip the lip is around 6-7 cm away and you can see nice beautiful bokeh if I will change the focus to lowest then I can go close to this leaf for around 3 cm so the focus distance of this lens is 3 to 6 cm 6 or 7 cm the focus distance is very nice for this lens now we will check if this lens can focus full frame or we can get any blurry edges as you can see almost all part is in focus but on the edges you can see some blurry edges you can see this part it is looking blurry where the center part is in focus so there is some distortion present in this lens.
I have captured this photo and you can see that the edges of this flower will have some purple type of fringing. So As you have seen from the sample shots, this lens can give you very nice bokeh like the Skybeak X macro lens and this can also give you some distortion and on the edges and some chromatic aberration as well. So this lens is similar to the Skybeak lens and we will see the comparison of this lens and the Skybeak lens in the next video. So do check it out. It is coming just after 1 and 2 hours after uploading this video. So that's the review for this lens and this lens is good for 999 but you know in 999 you can get two lenses from Apexel that is a 12x and 24x macro lens so why to buy only one lens that is only around 10x macro lens so that is the review of this lens and I will see you in next video thank you for watching